believe it. I thought he was such a nice man. Imagine that. I used to laugh at him all the time. I'll never laugh at him again. Tell him that. Turning around with another woman when he's got such a wonderful wife. He ought to be ashamed of himself, that's what. Hi, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh! Uh, hi, Mrs. Burrow. <laughs> What's Mr. Burrow got you doing? Oh, well, I, 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 I'm just fixing him some lunch. Well, that's very nice of you. Where is Mr. Burrow? Uh, but, but he's inside with a, a friend of the family. <laughs> friend of the family? Uh, Miss Ruta Lee. Oh, how nice. Milton's been wanting to get together with Ruta for a long time. <laughs> He got together with her, all right. I think I'll go in and say hello. Oh, no, no, they're very busy. They're very busy in there. I don't think you should go in. Uh, what? I, you, you've been busy, too, haven't you? Uh, yes, I've been doing some shopping. Yeah. I bought Milton a surprise anniversary gift. Oh, how nice. Well, I think I'll just poke my head in. No, don't poke. <laughs> Uh, so you, you got him a surprise gift, huh? Yes. I bought him a new golf bag. Oh, that's wonderful. Sometimes a man gets tired going around with the same old bag. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's nice when a man has two bags. That's a good gift. <laughs> No, don't let him know you're home, please. You, you better stay right out here. You don't go in there because then you'll know you're home and he'll come out here and he might see your gift. You better hide it. You really ought to hide this. Well, yes, it's a beautiful gift. You don't want him to see it. If he knows you're home, he might come out here. Why don't you hide it upstairs? Maybe you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you're fixing Milton some lunch. He needs to keep up his strength. <laughs> Milton, I just don't think this part is right for me. Why not? Well, like I said, I've never played the other woman before. Oh. Now, the public accepts me in a certain image, and I just don't think I can be convincing in this role. Convincing? Are you kidding? Rudy, you'd be great. Do you think I'd let you do anything that might hurt your image or jeopardize your career just to get you in my picture? Yes, I do. Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> now, Rudy, please, will you take the script home, get the feel of it, then come over here Monday night, have dinner with Ruth and me, and we can discuss it, huh? Well, all right, I'll take the script. But I can't possibly be here Monday night. Because Monday night, you and Ruth are coming over to my house. I'm having a little dinner party in honor of your 14th wedding anniversary. That's wonderful, darling. Uh, maybe, maybe sometime during the evening, you and I can sneak off together someplace and discuss them. All right. <laughs> Mr. Burrow. Yes, Mrs. Carmichael. May I toss the salad? Please do. <laughs> Idea. What are you, some kind of a nut? You're the one who's some kind of a nut. Married 14 years to a wonderful wife. A wife who worries about you, brings you chicken soup when you're sick, and laughs at your stale jokes in Kansas City. And what thanks does she get? You call her stupid. And carry on with another woman. Another woman? Me? Don't oh, act so innocent, you teeny bopper, you. <laughs> Just cuddle close. Let my lips caress your loveliness. Oh, my love. Oh, my pet. I can't go on sharing you. I can't. I can't. I can't. Caress your loveliness. Are you crazy or something? That was the scene we were rehearsing from his picture. From one of my, my new pictures. Your picture. Yes, my... Ah, a likely story. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm so 
sorry, Mrs. Burl. I tried to keep all of this from you, you poor little thing. Now, now, Ruth, this is an entire misunderstanding. I'll say it is. Yes, yes. Mrs. Carmichael overheard us rehearsing a love scene, uh, and she believed it. You bet I believed it. I heard every word you said. You're not kidding me. Now, will you stop that? You give me that. This is a script. This is a script that we're reading. Don't you see these lines? Yeah, what script? Caress me, my love. Let me caress uh, your loveliness. My love, my I cat. My cat. I can't bear to share yeah, it. Yeah, read it. Look. Read it. <laughs> I apologize. Uh. Oh, good heavens. But when I heard it over the intercom, it all sounded so real. You were so convincing. Oh, I don't know what came over me. I know what came over me. <laughs> Mr. Burl, yeah. can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. I'll not only forgive you, but I want to tell you, I love you. You love me? Yeah, because you believed Ruta as the other woman. Now, Ruta, this ought to convince you that you can play the part. <laughs> Some lunch, because the salad's on me. <laughs>